All right, YouTube, so we have an interesting bit of news, and as the articles are titling it, Witcher 3 developer CD Projekt Red has gotten hacked, and they're holding, these hackers are holding their game at ransom. Now, I came across this story because I was, for some goddamn reason, I'm not even sure why, I was Googling Witcher 3, and because of the way people are titling the article, you know, Witcher 3 developer, because that's going to draw, like, attention and traffic because Witcher 3 is in the title. That's how I came across this story. CD Projekt Red, the developer behind the Witcher series, has admitted to being the victim of a data breach. One or more unidentified hackers obtained files relating to, potentially among other things, the upcoming largely mysterious game Cyberpunk 2077. The perpetrators that then reached out to CD Projekt Red to demand a ransom under the threat of releasing the stolen data publicly. Rather than comply, the studio stepped forward with news on Twitter releasing the following message. Dear Gamers, an unidentified individual or individuals have just informed us they are in possession of a few internal files belonging to CD Projekt Red. Among them are documents connected to the early designs for the upcoming game Cyberpunk 2077. A demand for ransom has been made saying that should we not comply, the files will be released to the general public. We will not be giving in to the demands of the individual or individuals that have contacted us, which might eventually lead to the files being published online. The appropriate legal authorities will be informed about the situation. The documents are old and largely unrepresentative of the current vision for the game. I wonder if that's true, if they're just kind of to cover their asses in case something does get leaked. Um, still, if you're looking forward to playing Cyberpunk 2077, it will be best for you to avoid any information not coming directly from CD Projekt Red. When the time is right, you will hear about Cyberpunk 2077 from us officially, CD Projekt Red team. Cyberpunk 2077 was first announced in 2013. It is believed to be CD Projekt Red's next big release though. With the exception of the occasional tease or interview snippet, the studio has been largely silent about the project. We know it's based on Cyberpunk 2020A pen and paper role playing game, and that's pretty much it. The way CD Projekt Red has discussed it vaguely in the past suggests something more ambitious yet in similar vein as The Witcher 3. Before I even read this entire article, I was going to make the comment, I was planning on making the comment in the video that if it's anything like Witcher 3, that I will probably be interested. And I know it's not going to be the same thing because it's some kind of cyberpunk futuristic game, but as long as it's a big open world role playing game, you have choices, you have skills you can level up, all those types of things, if it's in the vein of Witcher 3 as they say it is, then it's probably going to be a pretty good game. And I'm not trying to hate on like Cyberpunk 2020, but I've never really been into this stuff. I don't know how much lore there is behind a pen and paper type of game. You know, I've never really been into that stuff like Dungeons and Dragons, where you gotta like exclusively use your fucking imagination to play a game. Not that fun for me. I'd rather just throw on a fucking video game. But as long as the setting and everything's cool, it'll probably be a fun game. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time the studio has squared off against hackers. Midway through 2014, just under a year before The Witcher 3 launched, stolen files surfaced containing spoilers about various facets of the game, including the ending. So in 2014, your boy was still on the Xbox 360. I did not have an Xbox One yet. I also wasn't doing YouTube at the time. So I wasn't aware of this news. You know, I didn't give a shit about Witcher 3 because it wasn't on Xbox 360. I don't give a fuck. So I had not heard about this, but I found this to be probably the most interesting part of this article is the fact that this has happened to them before. It's almost a testament to how shitty their security is that this has happened before. Or maybe it's a testament to how good their games are. People are willing to go through the effort of hacking them and maybe trying to hold them at ransom. I don't know. I don't know if a, a fresh IP is the best thing to hold at ransom. It'd be different if they had like Witcher 4 fucking info. But Cyberpunk 2077, we don't really know anything about yet. And if I could put on my tinfoil hat really quick, wouldn't it be entirely possible that they are faking this leak just to build up hype for Cyberpunk 2077? Isn't that a possibility? I'm just saying, it seems kind of odd they get hacked, you know, two games in a row. I don't know if they've released anything after Witcher 3. This is the only game I've heard of by them after Witcher 3, so, I don't know, just some speculation. If any ransom demands were made at the time, they were never shared publicly, but CD Projekt Red acknowledged the data breach and, much like it has now, advised against looking at the contents of the files. The latest data theft comes just a few days before the start of E3, gaming's annual trade show slash circus, and typically the site of many of the year's biggest reveals. There hadn't been any indication in the run-up to the show that a closer look at Cyberpunk would be coming, and that's still the case. 
So to sort of get my thoughts on this, this shit's fucking crazy, man. Like, the people are willing to go through this for a video game or to make a quick buck. Like, it's it's kind of pathetic that they feel the need to hack uh, a game developer and hold their project, whatever the project might be, at ransom because they need fucking money that bad. You're, you're a fucking scum, and you are pathetic. And I'm glad that CD Projekt Red has had a history of this, and as far as we know, have never given in to these demands because it's it's absurd that they even would, cons- like, the, they think anybody would even be willing to do that. Fuck that shit. This almost makes me want to buy the game when it comes out just to support Seed Project Red, man. Like, they're, they're become one of my favorite developers seeing, just because of Witcher 3. As far as I know, that's the only game of theirs that I have actually played. But that's enough for me to be like, I'm going to buy games from them in the future, dude. As long as it's in the realm of Witcher 3. Kind of like what Bethesda does, you know, Fallout and, and you know, Elder Scrolls are played the same, you know, first-person games, open-world choices, all that shit. So as long as they keep making games that are similar to Witcher 3, those are games I'm going to fucking buy. Anyways, guys, if you went on to enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on those notifications if you haven't already. It's going to be hard to get that as a part of my outro normally. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Follow me on Twitter. Links by social are in the description. In the outro. Later, guys. We fucked till it comes to conclusions. All the things that we thought we were losing. I'm a ghost and you know this. That's why we broke up in the first place. Because I want you to know.